never be a prisoner of your past. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Now then, now then. MP's weekly grocery allowance, £160. Job seeker allowance, weekly rate, £71. Let's target the real scroungers. Newspapers during the Notre Dame fire, you know, when they had an agenda they wanted you to believe. <clears throat> Versus newspapers during the Amazon forest fires. Fave Elton John song. Don't let your sun go down on me. My name is Robert Pickthall. I exposed council land theft, CWACC, created fake emails to imprison me. I was killed on the 30th of July 2019 and the police refused to investigate my murder. Police, not fit for purpose. We need rid of them. <clears throat> Dying societies accumulate laws like dying men accumulate rem remedies. We should all boycott buying stuff from Amazon until they agree to put out the forest fires. And you can sit, imagine her saying something like that because she's that thick. <clears throat> Is your deodorant toxic? Top five toxic ingredients hiding in your deodorant. One, aluminium. Alzheimer's straight into you yeah linked to breast cancer in women prostate cancer and increased risk of Alzheimer's disease parabens disrupt our de delicate hormone balance which can lead to things like early puberty in children and an increase in risk of hormonal cancers linked to birth defects and organ toxicity <coughs> propylene can cause damage to the central nervous system liver and heart Pythalate, linked to a higher risk of birth defects, my, may disrupt hormone receptors, increase the link likelihood in cell mutation. Triclosane, classified as a pesticide by the FDA, classified as a probable carcinogen by the EPA. It's almost like they're trying to kill us, poison us by di loads of different methods. <laughs> Probably just imagining it. Tribes in the Amazon just won right to their ancestral lands five weeks ago in a years long legal battle. A three judge panel ruled in favour of the tr tribes and declared 500,000 acres of rainforest would be protected from mining and oil drilling. Then three weeks ago Amazon forest mysteriously began burning. This is not a natural disaster. When you see this and then realise right after this happened, the forest caught on fire. Millions of acres of rainforest saved a, 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 a tiny Amazon tribe just defeated big oil in a historic lawsuit. MK Ultra trauma based mind control. This is what all the so-called stars have been, have been under. MKUltra is a sadistic CIA project that involves satanic ritual abuse. Victims are drugged, hypnotized, traumatized, given electric shock treatment, etc. to rewire their brain. These mind control zombies have been used as snipers, uh, spies, assassins, sex slaves and even as celebrities. Through Project MKUltra, CIA handlers have created Manchurian candidates willing to act on a command, even against their own conscience. If only everyone understood their true power was in unity. <clears throat> Federal Bureau of Investigation declassified document. You probably won't be able to read it, but it's, I think I did put a link in the description. Uh, so it's, uh, f uh, yeah, yeah, uh, this is 92115. Los Angeles, Hitler hideout, reports contact, contact with 
aided six top Argentine officials in hiding Adolf Hitler upon his landing by submarine in Argentina. Hitler reported to be hiding out in the foothills of southern Ansas. Information obtained disappearance. Attempts to locate no records of his police or, or IR, INS files. Hollywood, California, reported to a on the city desk of Los Angeles Sheriff newspaper that upon his leaving the Calvi Lane re restaurant at Hollywood and Vine on, on or about July 28th, 1945, he met a friend of his who at the time was ex guard in con correction with the, an in individual who later identified himself as redacted friend who identified whose identity he does not wish to disclose because of reasons that will later be explained remarked to redacted uh, that he would like to have him met met neat as it was quite evident that for, well, anyway basically the FBI knew Hitler was in Argentina. <clears throat> My face when people say Google or YouTube isn't legitimate research or knowledge so sources, all while getting their knowledge from government controlled school books, TV history and science channels. This video I put up yesterday and I just took a, thing, a screenshot of it because I want you to look there. Look, it's got no views but one thumbs up already. And it's grey, so it wasn't me. Well, it was, yeah, you know, you get what I'm thinking. Johnny Rotten was banned from BBC in 78 for telling the truth about Jimmy Savile. <clears throat> Although the mainstream media didn't recognise the crimes committed by Jimmy Savile until after his death, it's convenient, isn't it? There were many instances throughout his career where he was accused of, or implicated in child abuse cases. In most cases, he was able to avoid a whole lot of legal trouble and public scrutiny due to his media celebrity and his close ties to power and of the royals. The fallout from the Jimmy Savile case was probably ju just begun, but the backlash has already been considerable for anyone <coughs> who has dared to speak out on the issue with some people on the, at the BBC even losing their jobs. In their mind, in the midst of these revelations, there has been an increased attention of, on paedophilia in the entertainment industry and in state institutions like charities and children's homes. There has also been an increased attention on old cases that Savile may have be escaped from during his career. Cover of a book from 1983. They put it out there, they told you what was coming. Cannabis oil, too expensive to prescribe to epileptic children on HS advisory body fines. But if you're rich, no problem, you get some. A cannabis drug used to treat children with epilepsy is too expensive to prescribe even though it reduces reduces patient seizures the UK's medical advisory body has said the National Institute for Health and Career Excellent nice uh, announced today that it would not recommend cannabinoidal combined with anti-seizure drug clobazam for the treatment of two types of severe epilepsy Lennox gastro syndrome and Drivert syndrome Make it yourself. Draft guidelines say that while there is evidence that cannabis oil reduces the number of seizures children have, oh really, the drug is too expensive and its long-term effects are unclear. Well, how about don't give them any of that shitty drug you're giving them, just give them cannabis oil. Nice was asked to by the Department of Health and Social Care to examine whether the cannabis oil drug, <coughs> it's not a drug, it's a natural plant, used in the United States should be used in the NHS in England to treat the rare conditions which begin in childhood. The oil does not contain THC, the psychoactive ingredient that makes cannabis users high.
total absolute utter bullshit that monster in the hospital surgeon branded france's worst ever pedo after raping hundreds of kids under anesthetic and recording abuse in sick diary seems that you know in any sort of positions of power like doctors for instance the mccann's are all dirty filthy perverts a top French surgeon is suspected of sexually abusing hundreds of children in what is feared to be the country's worst ever paedophile scandal. Joel Lescaunek is alleged to have attacked girls and boys over three decades, sometimes when they were under anaesthetic. The 66-year-old was convicted of possessing sickening images of child sexual abuse more than a decade ago, but allowed to continue practicing until his arrest in 2017. The latest allegation surfaced during a police probe into claims he had raped two girls aged six, just four and six, reports the Times. Last, yeah, him, denies rape but admits deviant behaviour with the girls, according to his lawyer. During investigations, shocked cops found his personal diary in which he is alleged to have recounted sexual assaults on about 250 children in hospital where he worked. The news magazine La Express said that the case could well be the biggest paedophile affair ever re revealed in, his, in this country. Francesca Satta, a lawyer representing one of the alleged victims, said you open the diary and you close it again straight away. The perversion is so enormous. US Navy killing thousands of whales and dolphins with sonar and weapons tests. Not only have whales been shown up dead with dozens of pounds of toxic plastic waste inside their stomachs, the US Navy plans to raise the death toll by conducting underwater testing on explosive weapons and sonar devices. Tests will be and are taking place in Atlantic and Pacific oceans including Gulf of Mexico. These events are set to commence and take place from 2014 through to 2019. The title is not an exaggeration depending on the vicinity of the animals de detonating these explosives under water. <clears throat> it will kill whales and dolphins and injure many according to uh, two environmental impact uh, statements released by the military. Keep in mind these events have been occurring for a number of years and are responsible for the death of a large amount of marine life. U.S. soldiers and contractors sexually abused at least 54 children in Colombia between 2003 and 2007. What the media don't cover when Colombian women are raped by members of the U.S. military. When Colombian men rape Colombian women, it is news. When U.S. soldiers and private defense contractors are the rapists, not so much. Last week, fear notice that not one major media organization in the United States has covered the charge reported in Colombia and online in English by the invaluable medallion based Colombian reports that US military soldiers and contractors had sexually abused at least 54 children in Colombia between 2003 and 2007 and in all cases the rapists were never punished either in Colombia or stateside due to American military personnel being immune from prosecution under diplomatic immunity agreements between the two countries nor as far as I can tell have any of the State Department's allied human rights groups made mention of the allegations. Hemp ethanol would help to end oil wars, oil spills and climate destabilisation. Hemp, one, doesn't need as much fertiliser or water so corn, uh, as corn, switch grass or other energy uh, crops. Two, doesn't require the expensive dyeing required to corn and sugarcane. Three, can be grown where other energy crops corn. Four, is more resistant to adverse fall, fall weather than other crops and five has long been known to be the lowest moisture highest cellulose crop hemp stalks being over 75 percent cellulose according to a 1929 paper from schaefer and simmons with more conservative estimates indicating 53 to 74 percent of the bark being cellulose according to stanford research institute and the hawaii national energy institute it is woody low moisture herbic 
herbicuous plants that have that make the best biomass for liquid fuels hemp is both a low moisture herbic herbicuous and woody plant climate change hoax collapses as new science finds human activity has virtually zero impact on global temperatures natural news the climate change hoax has collapsed a devastating series of research papers has just been published revealing that human activity can account for no more than 0.01 degree centigrade rise in global temperatures meaning that all the human activity targeted by radical climate change alarmists combustion engines airplane flights diesel tractors are all has virtually no measurable impact On the temperature of the planet I hasten to add there <clears throat> Finnish scientists spearheaded the research realized in a paper entitled no experimental evidence for the significant anthropogenic climate change the paper explains that IPCC analysts of global temperatures suffer from a glaring error namely failure to account for influences on of low cloud cover and how it impacts global temperatures natural variations in low cloud cover which are strongly influenced by cosmic radiation ability uh, ra radiation's ability to penetrate Earth's atmosphere due to various variations in the strength of our planet's magnetosphere account for nearly all changes in global temperature the researchers explain as this chart reveals more cloud cover is inversely related to temperature in other words clouds shield the surface of the earth from the sun providing shade cover cooling while the lack of clouds result in more warming you mean the planet actually looks after itself wow and all those global warming alarmists are just that British children so hungry they eat loo paper and scavenge bins says charity school children in britain are having to scavenge in bins for food and eat toilet paper because their parents cannot afford to feed them a leading charity has claimed you can read the rest of it yourself links in the description as usual but this is utterly unacceptable this is the government it doesn't as you know it doesn't matter which one's in they're all the same bunch of corrupt bastards and the same agenda carries on because they're just puppets Madison cop won't spend a day in prison for child porn conviction Morristown a Madison police officer has been sentenced to two years probation and about 9,000 in fines after admitting he had nude pictures of a 17 year old girl from Brunswick Ohio Chad Rybecker 33 of Bernard's Township pleaded guilty to in May to one count of endangering the welfare of a child possession possession of child pornography Morris County prosecutor Frederick Knapp said the girl sent right back the nude picture via Twitter Twitter's messaging feature Brunswick police first learned of the picture and notified Madison police who contacted the Morris County prosecutor's office Knapp said the prosecution prosecutor said the investigation led to the discovery of a number of images in Rybeck's possession Rybeck has was suspended when the images were discovered and immediately resigned he has he had been an officer in Madison since 2007 August cop cuts deal to stay out of prison at the sentencing hearing a letter was read from the, the girl's parents condemning Ry Rybeck's action but expressed concern for the good officers of the Madison Police Department who have to rebuild the damage Rybeck brought to their department the Madison Police Department has zero tolerance for any police officer misconduct that adversely affects the borough's reputation or the integrity of the police department, Madison Chief Dyson said in May in a prepared statement. Rybeck's attorney, Gerald Hanlon, was quoted by the Daily Record in May as saying that the case is a real loss to the county. I. Johnson calls on G7 to take action on Amazon as Amazon burns. Wow, he actually knows something's going on. Fracking firm secret deal with earthquake agency. Global concerns as 72,000 
blazes recorded in rainforest this year, an increase of 83%. But Bolsano blamed for surge in fires affecting lungs of the world as land is cleared for cattle and crops. It's disgusting. The Guardian. World demands Brazil act as Amazon burns. Telegraph. Johnson to lay down red lines in Trump talks. First day in court for Sir Philip Green's accuser. <clears throat> Express. Chief constables summoned to crisis talks. Emergency summit to combat soaring violence. Keep, cool, keep your cool. Third degree sizzler on the way. Mirror. Shock court claims. Andrew Madam in secret palace visits. Royal cop prince invited Epstein aid and glamorous women. Oh, you're getting a bit hot for you, Pedo Andy. This scum. Andrew slept with hundreds of says pals, but never teens. Yeah, lying bastard. The Randy of D D Duke of York, he had 1,000 women. He's a paedophile and he drinks their blood because he's a dirty paedosexual. <clears throat> Waste of paper. They're at it again. Psycho Seagull Mugs TV legend then dumps on his car when he fights back. That's just... It's just... Ugh. Waste of... Utter waste of paper. The Times. NHS not up for grabs. Johnson to tell Trump. That means, yeah, you can have it. And almost finally. A guy posted, My penis is my life. His ex commented, Your life is too short. Doctors ask pregnant prostitute, do you know who the father is? Prostitute replies, oh for goodness sake, if you ate a can of beans, would you know which one made you fart? A husband and wife had been arguing all day. They pass a herd of jackasses. The wife says, relatives of yours? Husband says, yep, in-laws. A husband and wife decide they need to use code to indicate that they want to have sex without letting their child in on it. They decide on the word typewriter. One day the husband told his five-year-old daughter, go tell mummy that daddy needs to type a letter. The child told her mother what her dad said and her mum responded, tell your dad that he can't type a letter right now because there is a red ribbon in the typewriter. The child went back to tell her father that mummy, what mummy said. A few days later, the mum told the daughter, tell daddy that he can cite that letter now. The child told her father. She returned to her mother and announced, daddy said, never mind with the typewriter, he already wrote the letter by hand. <laughs>